All right, hello, welcome back. I'm finally back with another Sonic Mania vid here, and this is the, the Press Garden zone. What Press Garden means, I've got no clue. Now, these two levels, well, not only do they have good music, but they have a very nice aesthetic to them, a, a really nice aesthetic. Uh, now, the enemies are also pretty cool. Those crabs tossing around that, <laughs> that, that, uh, that circular saw. I thought that was pretty neat. I don't know if that's, if that was a classic enemy from, like, one of the, the previous games or not. Uh, I've never seen it before. I thought the animation was quite, was quite nice on it. Um, but yeah, you know, talking about the music... Uh, a few seconds ago, it has to be said that the music in this game is composed masterfully. It is fucking amazing. It's very well done, and I don't know, um, the sound effects, okay, the sound effects in the game sound like something you'd find on the Mega Drive, or you know, Genesis as it's known in the US. It's, um, the, the music sounds like, I don't know, like... Something you'd hear on like Sega CD or some shit, you know what I mean? Uh, it's very, very 90s. It has very, very 90s uh, kind of effects in the music, you know? Uh, so it's a nice touch. I like that shit. And, and you know, if, if you were around back in the day and you played, you know, other Sega games from, from the 90s, you'll know that... <laughs> The fucking the music that they had on some of their games was, I mean, as about as as '90s like pop as you could have gotten. You know, insane amount of uh, '90s fever in there. But yeah, you know, all in all, the man, the music's really really good in not only these two stages here that you'll be seeing but also in the game in general so far. Now, I'm going to kind of not talk as much, uh, so you can just uh, you know, check out the level and shit like that. Not only that, but I'm actually narrating this, so that has something to do with it as well. Uh, but before I stop talking, I would like to mention that uh, I fucked up, okay? I recorded this the other day, uh, these two levels, and, well, it was last night, really, uh, the, the night before doing this, I want to mean, and <laughs> my recording software is, is special sometimes, it, it's, got, it's got a bit of autism, okay, and what it likes to do is it likes, every once in a while, it likes to, when you start it up, to fucking not pick up the audio on anything. So I recorded me beating both of the stages uh, in this part here with um, no audio. So as you can probably imagine, I was I was quite pleased <laughs> when I found that out. So I actually I can't go back. You know what I mean? With, with a with a game, I actually have to start a new game. You know if that happens. You know if I fuck up like that. So I'm just gonna try not to fuck up like that in the future. <laughs> but my track record for fucking up, man, it's, uh, it's pretty hefty. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I had to deal with that. So I had to go through the game again, and man. I, I, I went through a lot better, as you can see. I got like 11 lives right here, right now. So, I, I, I memorized the the, the, the the routes of some of the of some of the levels pretty well. So, like I said before, I'm gonna not talk as much now and uh, let the level speak for itself. Maybe I'll do some commentary for the bosses, but uh, other than that, I'll just let the video play.
All right, this boss is probably... I don't know, it's probably really easy for some people, this boss, but for me, this was one of the more challenging bosses so far. Because, as you'll see here, when you get close to him, you'll hear a, you'll hear a little noise, and he'll, be, he'll aim one of his circular saws at you and extend it, okay? Now, when he does that, that's your opportunity to attack, but it's very difficult to get into a position where you can attack him. And getting his arm in position so you can attack him, you know what I mean? So, that's the challenge here with this boss fight. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Other than that, you know, you just gotta hit him without me getting hit by the circular saw. So, I'll leave it off here. I love this level for, well, for various reasons. I love the music in this level, and I also love the art design in this level. Mainly because of the contrast of colors, the, the, the contrast, it's, I find it's very striking with the pink and, and magenta color combinations with the snowy background. It's really nice, really beautifully done, and this is probably one of my favorite levels in the game so far.
All right, now this boss is, he's pretty tricky, but you know, like with all bosses and all platformer games, he's got a pattern, more or less, and you can figure it out, okay? Now when he jumps like that, you gotta jump and uh, hit him, okay? Now, those little bombs that he's throwing down, you can actually jump on top of those, and they won't explode and shoot those projectiles, okay? So keep that in mind. And it's basically just rinse and repeat after that. You'll see here that I actually took a few tries to actually kill this guy. Uh, mainly because <laughs> I didn't figure out the part where you actually could jump on top of the bombs. Once they're in the ground, okay? I can't stress that enough. Once they're in the ground, you can't uh, hit them whilst uh, he he's throwing them. You know, when they're, when they're falling to the ground, you cannot destroy those bombs. I found that out <laughs> whilst recording this video, so that's why I lost so many lives. That, it's, you know, for me it was kind of a tricky boss. An interesting boss, but uh, a, bit, a bit tricky for me. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, there he goes. Now, yeah, I'm pretty soon. I'm gonna be having a change in my my upload schedule. So, if I can, I'll try to get another video out uh, very soon before that change happens. So, until then, I'll see you guys whenever it is that I record my next video.